Yeah, you know, um, I try not to. Uh, I try not to think that I'm going to come into the season and just hit 60 home runs because of the way the off season went. You know, it's uh, it's really fun to hit in the off season, but it, it's it's hard. So coming into the season, I try to balance what the actual expectations are versus how many home runs I hit off of the hit tracks in the off season. But you know, it's. I think for me, the thing that I'm most excited about is the possibility to get a full season of at-bats and, and really just to see kind of what I'm capable of because I do, in my mind, have expectations that I'd like to see come to fruition and the game is hard. It's a lot harder, I feel like, playing in New York, but I feel like the last couple of years have prepared me for what it's like to have highs and what it's like to have lows and, and really how to find that happy medium to just go about my business the right way. 60 homers, the expectation you're talking about? Oof. Uh, you know, after watching the pace that Luke was on last year and knowing that that's probably what uh, 60 home runs would look like, I don't uh, I don't know if I'm in that company just yet. Do you have a specific number to mind, though, even if you're not going to share them with? Um, I have a couple bets uh, in my head that I've made with myself. Not bets, I guess goals that I've made with myself of – you know, I know I, in my career I have 162 games played, exactly, and I'm hitting 258 with 24 and 82 home runs. So to know that over the course of a couple of years where I didn't get a consistent amount of at-bats and that's the numbers I've put together, I, I feel really good about the numbers in my head that I, you know, kind of have looking at those numbers. So especially with the progress I feel like I've made in some areas of my game.